Okay, so today we're going to look at a sprint um, somewhere in Scandinavia. Um, I should look it up before. Oh, it looks like it's it could be in Finland. World Ranking Event, SM, Sprinty, Finale. Anyways, um, all this stuff. Point is, it, it, was a, it was a very good sprint. Lots of uh, the fastest people in the world were there. So, we are going to go look through it. I'm just going to quickly again... Guess what I would do, and then we'll look at the people who, who who are good, like really good at doing it. Do do it the right way. So, to number one, uh, honestly, I'd probably just go right. There's a little bit of coming back, but the left option just seems um, a little bit longer. So, I don't know. <laughs> There's not much more to tell it off of, but. I would just guess right. It looks a little bit shorter. Like it looks basically uh, when you go, if you'd go to the left, you'd have to go back a bit. So away from the control and um, you don't have to do that so much from the right side. So I would hope the right would be a little bit faster. You could even almost avoid the stairs just by going around um, on the yellow, but I don't know how much of a difference that could make. I mean, every second counts. So in a sprint. And then to number two, you just go straight uh, left. There's really nothing to it. Number three, so there's a wall here, but basically you'll come back and just come around the right side of the wall. I don't see what else you could do. Uh, basically, it's setting up the next leg for number four. So number four, it's on the... Oh, I would have put it there on that corner. That would have been a lot more brutal. Um, but we know that it's on the inside of this long fence. So... You have to run at least to here, and then you have the choice between doubling back or going all the way around the right side. So definitely going back right now, I think, is faster because the length of this um, wall is uh, almost half the length of this fence. So you have to come back both ways almost the same amount, but um, I think on this one it's a little bit more. So... I don't know. It's a, it's a really good, really good leg. We'll see. I would go left. Don't know if that's the right option. Um, to ooh, the TV control. So you just go straight, run to the corner, take a bearing. Um, so probably in this section from here and then to six, you really want to read ahead because there's no navigation and this is where you can try looking ahead for some of the other legs. So here you run to this corner or the uh, edge of the hedge and now it's a dead end here so you can't go that way. Um, you can't cross the river here on any side so it, you need to come right. So you'll come out right and you could cut into here and then come up these stairs um, or you could just keep going straight like uh, around here. I would, um, I'd probably try cutting. It's a little bit shorter, I think. Um, it, it would be a little bit shorter. Otherwise, I think a lot of people are going to just come right here because it's almost less navigation. Um, here you have to do more turns. But I think you do get some distance cut off on this, um, this stretch here. So you'd come around here and then just come in because it's a dead end so there's nothing too too much to do there um, then to number eight just gonna flip my computer around um, I definitely go from the right so basically there's gonna be some more navigation so you come out the way you came in cross through here and then basically uh, aim for this building corner and come up all the way up the pavement here, here, and then you just do this little loop back here. The other option would be coming straight out here and then coming in, but you go much, much more off the line. So here you're very close to the line. So that's, I'm gonna say definitely the faster option. And there's no traps, so I think it would work out pretty good. Number nine, um, you've got a right or left around the fence and I would just go right because you don't have to turn back 
if you go if you go like uh, from the left you have to turn back here and if you go right you're already heading in the direction so it's just a little bit of a right turn and you'll head right into it uh, number 10 you just come across the little courtyard or whatever um, not not too hard it's on the side of the wall that you're on so there's nothing to worry about now number 11 so there's a fence that's blocking this section off here so you can't just run straight so your options are oh oh and then this looks like a fence too here let's zoom in uh, this looks almost like a fence but that's not a fence and I would have cut that um, if I were the course planners because it looks like it could be a red line but usually they'll use um, like walls or the like the OCAD symbols for wall or fence to show um, artificial fences so so basically in this case I'd come this way and then up this and then diagonal across um, this pavement here and then up the path right up to wherever the control is I think it's on the edge of the hill um, yeah basically the other option would be coming up left and then in that might not even be a bad option because um, there's a lot less turning and a lot less navigation involved because you just run to the this corner and then you run straight so I think they'd both be valid both be very valid the right way might I think I want to say it's a little bit less distance because you get this diagonal here um, but you do come back down a little bit here so honestly it's hard it's hard to know if you do take this option you can read ahead a bit more because you know you can see where you're running to so you can read ahead a bit then you turn and you just know you're running straight until you hit the control so this was definitely simpler I think they're both valid um, we'll see what the top guys do I'm sh I think they're gonna take uh, both both routes some guys will take one some guys will take the other here basically you can't get out from the right side so you just I just come down here come out here and then come in by this uh, hedge through this gap come in here and then straight so basically just take it as straight as possible uh, the hard part here is going to be all of the, the micro um, reading and you don't want to make any mistakes oh that's this area is really nice now from number 12 to 13 you've got a gap here again I would have cut this um, cut this line it's cut here but it's not cut there and you've got a gap because this is just canopy and if, if you do zoom out that that would be much much harder to read so um, when we're zoomed in like this it's it's pretty easy to tell but um, basically I just anyways let's let's read the rest uh, the problem is is that again here we can't get by it so you have to come in from either this side or this side this side's a lot further off so honestly it would be most likely faster to come in from the right side or the left side this side um, yeah so I guess this gap doesn't matter too much it does matter if you're trying to read the route from the other side um, but in this case that's definitely not faster so you just come in from this side pop in go to the next one uh, there's only one way you go straight and then there here you'd have to double double back which would a hundred percent be much much slower um, do, do, do okay so number 15 I would just um, you don't want to go back you could go you don't okay so there's this fence here blocking off anything from the right so the most optimal place to enter it from is from here now this is blocked off and this is blocked off so it really doesn't you can't really get into here and have much meaning in it so you would pop out left here run straight and then diagonal in um, now if this is a oh crap so this this is one's definitely on the inside corner so that that's almost a trap so yeah that makes the root choice a lot better because um, if you do do this you have to double back right at the end to, just to get in which also validates going right a lot more so you could go right and then in and then in but because this is so far off the line compared to this I would still go left and there is a double back at the end so I'm not sure how much time you'd lose to it but I I really hope it's not I don't think it's as much as going left or, or right 
So basically, yeah, I'd go left. We'll see what the other guys do. I would be very surprised if going right would turn out to be faster. And it could be. The thing is, is that this double back is not very, very long. You get, you're mostly sticking to the line, going left. And here you go very far off the line, relatively. So I think the distance would pan out to be longer from the right. Uh, number 16. So this one's definitely on the inside of this wall. So you, the only way you can't get in from the right, there's two walls here blocking it off. So you have to come out. If you choose to come out, yeah, I would choose to come out this path, then diagonal across this, and come in, and then right into here. And now you're basically in a dead end, so you have to come back out, and then you read the next leg from here. You can come in through here and diagonal across. Um, otherwise, I don't know how slow this sand is. It could be worth it considering to go around on the pavement and cut into the sand here. Uh, the diagonal is shorter though, so it depends on how slow it is. If it's very slow, that very well... It could be, probably not, because the hypotenuse is usually faster. And then you'd come out, so you could either double back here and come in, or go out and there. Uh, so again, because this is sand, it might be faster to come around, to double back, get out of the sand, and then come in on the pavement after running through it here and maybe even here and here you'll know how slow it is so um, you can make your choice so that that's a choice to be made based off of the speed of the sand um, next oh we got 19 basically 19 is blocked off all the way from our right side so you have to come in through this um, entrance so I'd basically double back come in and diagonal into it uh, because it's so blocked off, I could basically guarantee that's the fastest. Um, if it's not, I'm going to be extremely surprised. So <laughs> we shall see about that. Um, so we've got a gap here, and this is a long leg. So uh, this is such a long leg, it's pro it might be worth, honestly, uh, stopping <laughs> to read it for 5 or 10 seconds. Um, if you haven't done so already. I would definitely be reading it as I'm running into 19. There's Again, there's no root choice, so that helps you set up for it. So basically, if we look here, we've got an underpass between... Um, we've got an underpass under this bridge, so we can loop around it and come up the um, sidewalk on top of the bridge and then come down. Or we've got an underpass on this side of the bridge and we have to come down all the way. So if we look here, I think the lower underpass seems a little bit shorter. Now, at least from the line, if we were starting from here, then taking the lower underpass, it looks a little bit shorter than taking the top one. Um, might not be true, but we, we shall see based off of what other people do. Now, um, what else have we got? So we've got three crossable bridges here where we can cross. Um, so the big question is going to be at the end. Now, how fast can we get over to this section? So you can exit through here and then go down and up, but that's a little bit more of a zigzag. So I'd run straight here and there. And then the angles are uh, more wide, I think. So here, this is an acute angle, basically. So, or it's almost 90. So it's it might not be the fastest. Um, like you'll take more distance on it, but this you can make this angle a little bit more obtuse. Um, and then everyone's going to run through here. That'll be a little bit annoying if you're going to the TV control, but makes sense. They'll get them on TV twice. Um, and then basically, the question is: so then you could run by here. Let's zoom in here. So if you if you are taking the lower route, um, you get to run by this basically around one, through here, down onto the pavement, under the bridges, and then you get to execute the loop here. And then the other option would be um, going up here and up onto this side and getting onto this trail and then running, running basically up this path all the way around. 
So, and it could it could be worth it to cross on this bridge here and then take this little bridge here. It's a little bit more of a zigzag, but it's not so far off the line. But I think honestly running on this indistinct trail would also be very good. So, okay, I'm going to make my my choice. You can make your choice or whatever. Um honestly, I like the lower option. It's closer to the line and it mostly depends on the end. It's a little bit more complicated than this one. Here you just cross under. Um, here you have to loop, so because it's a little bit more technical, that could be the faster route. Um, it's it's pretty hard to tell with um, a route like this. The other option, I think, it would be probably crossing on this bridge and then running all the way here and then back down. So. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll do a mass start there and it'll be pretty cool to see what the guys do and which one turns out to be faster. Um, and then, yeah, so here you, once you get to 20, you go straight up. You got to read which, if it's under or on top of the bridge um, so that you don't lose time there. Then here you pop up onto here and you've got... Um, so you've got this really annoying wall. So here you can go right or you can go left. If you go right, you have to loop all the way back around here. So you'll come out all the way back. So here definitely left is is the better option. So um, I think if you go right, you won't realize that, I don't know, this fence is here or that you can't get to it. Um, so that that will probably be a mistake. So, you, so honestly, going left here will save you most of the time because you have to double double back all the way around this fence and that's just going to kill you um and then here i just go like left and then doesn't matter right or left those are really random fences there and then run into the finish so okay now we're going to watch the fast guys do it i'm going to put them we'll test out the speed so that it's they're not going too fast um but yeah Yep, I think it's going to be good. Um, let's see how fast 10 is. That is a little bit too fast for me. Um, we'll go 5. So everybody... Okay, I'm going to we'll pause it. So basically everybody goes uh, to the right, to number 1. So that's what I, um, that's what I thought. So that's good to know. Going left is just too long. Um, number two, there's no root choice. Number three, there's no root choice. Um, number four is the interesting one. So it looks like, okay, so basically, out of the top 10 or 12 guys, uh, all of them, except uh, Yannick Michels, uh, went from the left side. So that's also what I, I thought left would be better too. Um, so, uh, I want to run it, I just want to, hmm. we'll leave it running right now, um, without doing mass starts, but then we can test out how much slower it was by doing a mass start, and, uh, seeing how much slower Yannick Michaels would have been to this control. But basically, they were all about at the same time, and he lost maybe two or five seconds, so you can see everyone already leaving. Um... Oh, they're going fast. Okay, so here most people took the diagonal, like I said. Um, one person didn't take the diagonal, so the di diagonal was definitely the better option. Somebody made a mistake here. Um, it's very easy to do. And then to number eight, they're all coming from the side that I said. The other one was basically nonsense, so it wasn't too hard. Here, so, okay, this one was interesting. Um, it seemed most of the people, a majority, I'd say like 60 to 80 percent, uh, took the right, went around the right side. So I'd say that's also the better route there. Um, so this one's interesting. So here it's almost 50-50. I'd say it's more like 60-40 percent. Um, most people went up the left side and then straight in. So... Um, that's interesting. And a lot of people didn't even turn here. They just ran 
down the center of this. So we can actually, we'll test that out, what's the faster option. Um, to number 12, it's the way I said, from the left, and then everyone's coming in. Oh, so that's interesting. So here what I didn't predict um, is that a lot of people would take, they turn right here and then turn left. So I don't know if that's faster. There's one person who went all the way from the left here. I think I'd say it's almost, I'd say it's almost 50-50, but it might not be. Like taking the diagonal across here, it might be shorter. So I'm not sure and we can see that later on, which one would be uh, actually faster. So here we're already getting a lot more spread, um, but basically there's no root choice and it looks like most people are coming from the left side to number 15 and only about two or three people went from the right side. Oh, these guys are running too, too fast. Um, yeah, and Yannick Mikels, because he runs so fast, he's already back in the lead, even after making that mistake on early on. So then there's no root choice. So everybody cuts across um, here. And then if we look here, it was um, 2 to 2. So it looks like the sand wasn't too bad. Um, Mikels comes around, taking that pavement option that I was talking about, and we'll slow it down and then see... Um, what was faster later on um, but most people come back out across and take the shorter distance option and then wow so honestly I'm surprised some people actually came around this side of the building I guess it doesn't matter too much but I think it was pretty split evenly so now for the long route so most people come around here um, through the center like I predicted and now some people are, so a lot of people are taking this um, bridge here to get onto this side and taking the upper route choice. So we'll see how much worse it is or whatnot. Um, but then there's, I guess it's almost an even split. So a lot of people also took higher route choices. Um, and it looked very, very even. I don't know. We'll have to do a mass start to see exactly um, exactly what was faster so that was that was an ex extremely interesting um, and then because this is basically the race so and it's really tied up here so uh, it's hard to tell whether it's um, being balanced how much it's being balanced by root choice or by running speed so here I think all of these people these four guys made a mistake and they lost a decent amount of time to everyone else um, who took the left route so that was definitely the better option in that case um, okay yeah so everybody and it's really interesting they all came in very very close um, time wise so we're, we are going to do mass starts now to measure out who um, which sides were faster I have to, I'm going to slow this down because they, they are going way too fast. Um, whoops. Okay, mass start here. Don't know if one is, one is okay. That, that's, they're going, ah, maybe, maybe let's go two. Okay, one second. I didn't, I only got half of the people on the mass start. So hopefully... It's hard. It's hard to get them when a boat. When uh, some of them are coming in and out, and the lines are over overlapping so much. So one second. I'm just gonna check. I see, I think the um, the tails are one minute. Yeah. So they're one minute tails. They're really long for. Uh, but I guess they're going very fast in the sprint. So. So looking at this, it looks like. Um, I think I might have had that guy off, but these guys all look good. I don't know. Yannick Michaels didn't lose too much time. He lost some time, but not too much time. So I would definitely say it's clear that uh, left is faster on that one. Um, which one, which other ones were confusing? So I think we can say that right was faster to nine. Um, let's try 11. 
So we're going to mass start here. It's kind of a mess, so it's hard to tell. Whoops. Um, what is, um, where exactly everyone hit the control at the same time. So it looks like, oh, it's hard to tell. It's so hard to tell. So we've got, Mikkel's looks like he really took that corner there. And everyone else m went past that green block over there. So honestly, um, and then Mikkel's is, uh, an extre extremely fast runner um, but the guys going down they let's see how they make it in they make it in at almost the same time so I think it's I'd say it's almost equal it's basically equal if you go right or left um, definitely the guys who went all the way up here if they went around this green box, I think that took up too much um, extra, that took up some extra distance and they might have lost one or two seconds there. So I'd say it doesn't matter which way you go, right or left, as long as if you go left, you have to come in through this gap and then just huck it straight here. But going all the way around, that's just, um, you know, you're not going to beat the guy who goes straight here. So that would be the second best route choice. Um, again, it's not going to make a gigantic difference. It's honestly your running speed that makes the big, big difference um, here. Okay, now we're going to, I'm going to mass start. Oh my gosh. Mass start at 12. Because I want to see. Um, here, let's, we shouldn't move it when they're running. So Lundanez came the way I thought. And a lot of people turned in here, so I'm just going to rewind that back. So I want to see... Alright, um, just going to... I'm going to zoom in as much as I can, because this is very, very hard to uh, actually see. So I want to see if... Because um, I feel like the people who turned here almost made a mistake. Like, they didn't... They might not have planned with it, and then they realized that this place is blocked off. So. Lundanez comes in from the right, but it's it's basically the same. So it honestly didn't matter as long as you didn't go um, right here. Then it did not matter which way you went, whether it was um, right or left around here, because Lundanez and basically the other guys got there at the same time. So here, let's do a mass start from eleven. Is this eleven? No, 14 to 15, just to see how big the difference was. Um, doo -doo -doo. So mass start, we can see um, these guys, I don't know, this guy looks like he disqualified himself if he actually did run that way in the GPS, but the other guys come around the right, it's looking, it's looking fairly even, these guys are a little bit ahead, some people took this variation, which is not bad, but the guys here who went left definitely got there first so so yeah left was the better option um, number 16 no root choice so let's uh, let's measure from 17 I'm gonna zoom in a lot because it's it's very hard to tell should probably cut down on the number of people so okay that's interesting so it looks like Yannick Michels was the first one to make it again the GPS is a little bit sketchy it would be better to look at split times but I'm not gonna go look for them because uh, this is getting this is extremely long we're already at 30 minutes almost so basically it looks like going around on the pavement was probably the better option because Yannick Michaels really got here um, before everyone else let's let's see if I have that right or I don't know. Here, let's actually, uh, now that looks like it was a very bad, it's, okay, hopefully this mass start is, okay, I don't know, it's hard to tell. It would honestly be, no, I don't, I'm not matching everyone at the same time when they hit the control. Like, some people are ahead and some people aren't, so, I don't know, we'll have to. 
I don't know. You can. It's not going to make a big difference on that one. Um, what I really want to do, the most interesting leg, is going to be the last leg. So we're going to do a mass start here. Where everyone's basically at the same spot. And let it run. And see what is the better route. So, because it's really interesting here. Um, so this one guy goes left, but as I was saying, I think this is not not going to pay off. We'll see if he, yeah, he's he's already a bit behind everyone else. It's not too too bad, but it is definitely two or three seconds um, that he did lose there, and at least he took a very nice um, curve here. So most people go down. Uh, two people go up. Trenchard and Hulgard or whatever, um, and then almost everybody crosses here, except Mikels and Naimi, who are taking the lower, um, yeah, they're taking basically the option that I considered, um, that I would take, so these, a lot of these guys are taking a variation over here, so we'll see who gets here first, um, so Mikels is there almost at the same time, but he pulled away from Naimi. So I'd say that it was almost exactly the same. So if we look here, it's basically exactly the same. Naimi, he took, I think he lost some time because he went around the left side here and Yannick came around the right side of this building. But it's basically, basically the same. So um, let's just, I just want to go back a bit and see where Tranchard and the other guys ended up uh, with respect to these guys. Because if they made it there, it's almost identical. Like, they they basically land there at exactly the same time. So, it wouldn't really matter which one you took. That's what I'm going to say. So, Mikhail's and some other guy are right in the lead. Um, most people, it looks like, well, I don't know. It looks like almost 60% took the lower route, and then 40% took the upper route. Um, and here, so these guys are already on the bridge, and now these guys are running down. So it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty interesting to see who makes it there first. I'm just gonna zoom in. Oh, and it's very very close. So if we look at that again, it's very very close. Lundanes and Tranchard come under the bridge and then hit the control basically either a mere seconds before Mikels and uh, Hivanko or basically at the same time. It's honestly not, not a big difference. So I would say that it was basically the same. It does not matter to a very large extent which way you went. So that would, I don't know, it would be an example of a not so great route choice um, or a route for setting because it doesn't matter which way you go. So even taking five or one second to five or ten seconds to think about that route, um, you would lose it in that case. Um, it also makes it a little bit more fair because you don't have to, because um, sometimes when routes are so long, it's almost impossible to tell. So, yeah. Interesting. Then at the end we've got this trap and then everybody finishes up. So that's uh, that was a great sprint uh, course map. I'm sorry it took so long. This was longer than my last video. Um, yep. See you in the next one.